She's gonna love this. But there was one thing in my cart that was not showing on sale. Oh my goodness. So refreshing. My hair is like doing something weird today. Oh. What is up you guys? How's everybody doing? Welcome to part of my living room. I am Ashley L in case you do not know who I am. I know this video is coming uh, a little bit late. It's been about two or three weeks since Lush had their boxing day sale where well when it first started and I kind of wanted to share my experience especially as somebody that's just doing it for the first time ordering online what that was like this year because it was in my opinion super super smooth which in years past I've seen just like in nightmares stories about ordering through there on Boxing Day and of course I want to unbox my Boxing Day sale in case this is your first time stumbling upon my channel and my face right here I am a cruelty free beauty youtuber so I talk about all things makeup beauty hair care everything like that and I've really been getting into lush lately so I'm really excited to kind of snag all of these up and some of the products I've never tried before like the bath oils and stuff and I just I'm amped to try more things from them and I figured that the Boxing Day sale was the best time to try all of that stuff because uh hey 50% off can't beat that that is a good time to to test things out so we're gonna be doing that all today and if that all sounds good and dandy to you guys then you know what to do sit back hang tight and keep on watching <laughs> Okay, so first and foremost, let's talk about the past experiences people had with the Lush Boxing Day sale. So this is the first year, from what I gather, that Lush decided to just do all of their holiday stuff 50% off. In years past, Lush's Boxing Day sale was buy one, get one free. So you had to have two items in the cart. Now, I'm not sure if it would have had to be the same two items or if you're able to mix and match. I, I don't know, but I can see how that could cause a lot of chaos and a lot of problems. So I'm really, really, really glad. Thank you, Lush, you're not watching this, but thank you if you are ever happened to stumble upon this thank you lush for just changing it to 50 percent off flat i think it's easier i mean i know lushies just like stock up and just go crazy and it doesn't matter if it's buy one get one free or 50 percent off it just just make it easier and make it 50 percent off out the door because i'm sure everybody orders just the same amount you know what i mean i know i did i didn't go in there thinking like anything i had a budget in mind so i try not to go past that budget and i just got whatever i could within that budget so the boxing day sale starts december 26 now if you celebrate christmas that is the day after christmas and it starts first thing in the morning this year it was 6 a.m that it started online and of course where it starts in stores is whenever the time the stores open i couldn't figure out if any of the stores open necessarily early but um i yeah sorry i didn't do enough dating with that i wasn't able to shop in stores because i was at my parents house for the holidays and they do not have a lush anywhere near them i think the closest one was like two or three hours and i just i wasn't gonna do that i figured hey i'll take my risk i'll take my luck online which i I've read some kind of horror stories about online shopping on Boxing Day. So I was, I tried to be as best prepared as I could. I created an account and everything. I put all my information in the night before that way everything was ready to go. Because in my experience, anytime you have launches or sales or anything that can delay your order processing time. And sometimes you lose stuff in the cart and everything like that if you don't have your account already set up. So I did that ahead of time. And I went ahead and went through the whole entire catalog of their Christmas stuff. Cause all their Christmas stuff was gonna be 50% off. And I added added it all into my cart and then I took screenshots of the cart of the things that I want and now I did this because of there's a reason so I took snapshots of it like I said just in case my cart emptied because I heard that in years past and this could change for this upcoming year I'm not really sure in years past your cart would actually empty out right before the sale which is fair like I understand that but I I filled it up anyways and figured hey We'll test my luck and we'll see. I woke up to a nice surprise where my cart did not empty. So 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is when the Lush Day sale started. That was in California, that's where I am. So I set my alarm for, I first set it for five till. And then I remembered having the experience of a lot of launches and sale day shopping and everything like that that I do because of my job here on YouTube channel. I was like, you know, let me, let me put it 15 minutes early because I've seen a lot of sites launch things before the announced sale starting time. So I did that right when my alarm went off at 5.45 in the morning, <laughs> commitment, cause I was freaking tired cause the day before was Christmas, but I did it anyways and the sale had started. So that was really crazy. Not only did the sale start, my cart did not empty, everything was in it. So that was super exciting. Now I would have just checked out then and there, but there was one thing in my cart 
that was not showing on sale. This was a little bit sad. So I wanted to get the Snow Angel Naked Body Shower Gel, whatever they call it. So I was really, really excited for that. That was one of them that like I 100,000% wanted. I actually don't know what Snow Angel smells like. I've smelled it in the store before, but I can't remember. But I know it has like a cult following. So I, I did want to get my hands on the Naked one. I did get my hands on a little shower gel, which, you know, it, which I'm excited for, but I specifically wanted that naked one for just like a review purpose coming up in the future. So I was kind of waiting around a couple minutes since I was like, well, it's 15 minutes early. So maybe it will, you know, it will get reduced. Maybe it was just a glitch or something like that. So I was waiting. I think I waited like five minutes and then I noticed things started getting taken out of my cart. So I started to panic. Um, I think I lost out on maybe three or four products because I was waiting. Cause I was like, you know what? It's okay. That's the one that I like really, really want. And I didn't want to bite the bullet. It would have saved like $10 by being able to order it on sale, which I, I'm a little bit of a penny pincher. So that's a frugal, frugal Nancy over here, but uh, it was worth it to me because that's the one I really wanted. But once I saw it was uh, dropping pretty fast things out of my cart, I was like, okay, I just need to check out. So I went ahead and checked out. Yes, I missed out on, like I said, three or four products, but they were the ones that I wasn't like super uh, bummed about anyways, except for the shower gel went from the eight ounce to the three ounce, but that's okay for the snow fairy. I expected that because I know it's so popular, but I wasn't committed on eight ounce because I don't even know really what it smells like. So after my order was placed, I was still like wondering like, why is that snow angel naked shower gel not showing up? So I kind of refreshed for like, you know, a little while. And then I noticed that there's a little chat icon on the bottom of the screen. So I decided to do that and ask why that wasn't a part of it because like literally everything else was. And I was like number 60 in line or something, but it still went fast, maybe like 10 or 15 minutes, like where I had it open. And then the other screen, I had that lush shower gel, naked, whatever, open. So I was waiting to chat and come on. And then it did. And I asked like, hey, why is this not a part of the sale? Or is it gonna be later? Like, what's the tea? And they were like, oh, it's on there. And I was like, oh, that's weird. So right when she said that, I went to the screen to check and see, it suddenly said 50% off and then it said out of stock. So I think either everybody bought it that wanted it at full price online or like, I don't even know because she was like, oh, it's on sale. And then like, I had just refreshed it right before talking to her and it was in stock. So I, I don't know, maybe everybody bought it at full price and then that, that is what it is. But I was a little bummed because I wanted 50% off and I'm just, I don't know if it was my computer or what. It was, it was like the one thing that I really, really wanted, but that's okay. That's okay. I just want to like, let you guys know what happened with my experience. I don't know. So I don't have to be alone in my frustrations, but uh, say la vie, say la vie. I ended up going to a Lush store, maybe like, like four days later, the one that's closest to me, I have, a, I have quite a few near me, but the one that is closest to me is pretty small and they were out of pretty much any, everything there was, which is to be expected, but you just, you never know. So I thought I'd ask. Um, they had a couple random things they were discontinuing that were on sale, but things seemed to go out of stock very quickly. Um, and in stores, in case you're wondering what that experience is like, um, I've heard that there are long lines and you know, it's a little bit chaotic, but if you're willing to brave it and that's what you wanna do, then there you go. You can do that, but I was so happy overall with my online experience, being able to add everything to the cart the night before, have everything mapped out. And even if they emptied my cart, taking screenshots of it the night before helped me a lot. Cause if I'm, I'm, I'm not an impulse buyer really at the end of the day, I really like to think over my, products and because I wasn't in store actually smelling the products I had to really go off of descriptions of each and every product and see if that fits kind of my flavor profile of what I like you know so doing that ahead of time helped a lot so I really hope that Lush keeps the same parameters going into 2020 and in future years so uh hope let's hope for the best now they did say that they were going to do some random restocks throughout the month they had one major one that I saw not major I mean it was still maybe like 10 items at least when I caught it so they did have a little restock and some of the stuff like some Yognog stuff and everything came into play. You kind of, if you really want to participate in the sale, especially online, you kind of have to be there first thing to uh, hopefully get most of the stuff that you want. And you kind of have to go into it knowing I'm not going to get every single piece that I want unless I'll win the lottery that day because 
you probably won't get every single thing. So kind of have an idea of your mind, what you want to get. That's what I learned. That's my experience. And also having your account created online ahead of time and everything like that. And if you want to go to the store, know that there might be a line and you need to get there pretty early from what I've seen. All right, enough about my experience with this. I know I can go on and on, but probably you guys just want to see what I got and talk about that and show you and everything. So let me dive right into first this little tiny box. So I had to open this because my orders came in two different orders. I got this one one within maybe like five or six days of my order. Now here's the thing, it never told me how many orders I'd have coming. So that was one thing that I didn't really like about ordering online. This one was coming from a certain part and I, when I got it, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this, there's no way all my stuff's in here. I'm so confused. And then I happened to get an email like that same day, like a little bit later that gave me a tracking information for the next shipment. I was like, okay, that's kind of weird, but they came from a different facility. So they must make one somewhere and somewhere. So I figured there'd be a couple things in here. I was like, let me see what I got. So I know. And also my daughter was really excited for it because I got some stuff for her too. And I was like, surprise, I ordered some unboxing day stuff for you. But there was only one thing in here, which I don't really love that one thing got shipped separately but there's nothing really I could do about it all of the stuff that they send it in and everything is recyclable this is like a potato starch packing peanut that you can actually dissolve in water and the cardboard is recyclable and everything so showing you my first thing that I got this bath bomb right here is potent my filming room had this sitting in it for the last week or so and then my whole room smells like this which I ain't complaining it is nice but it is strong I feel like this one at least I don't know about the rest of the box we'll see but it's almost stronger than when you buy it in stores maybe because it's like fresher and not being like so aired out and it's concentrated but this one right here is santa's workshop bath bomb so woo it is it is strong i don't remember the descriptions i wonder if they're online still let me see they only have a couple of their stuff still online the stuff that they still have in stock they have like the joy to the world gift set that has like two products in it from the holidays still 50 percent off but they don't have like all the individual products i should have taken screenshots of the descriptions to help you guys but i didn't honestly think my order was going to take this long it took about almost three weeks i just got my order a couple days ago so almost three weeks to get everything in which is it's fine it is what it is they're really busy with the boxing day so i'm sure and then they have valentine Valentine's Day coming up and they're just really busy. So this is Santa's workshop. It is a uh, really gorgeous. Obviously, I honestly I thought that I was good with scents, but you know what? I don't know. It just smells really good. This actually smells like a lush store to me. You know, it has that smell to it when you walk by, but it is so pretty. It has these beautiful like metallic swirls in it. So cute. Looks like there's a little piece of blue sitting out. So I'm very, very excited for that one. That is the only one that came in that order. All right, let me open up the big guy. So a lot of this is going to be like a surprise for me because I don't remember at this point what I've ordered and I didn't know the sizes and the smells. So these are all like first impression sniffings and things like that because I don't even know you guys. I don't even know. I have to say, and you're going to see a lot of it. I am obsessed with Yognog. So I got everything that I could that was still available unless it like got dumped on my cart because I love it so much. I didn't buy more of the shower gel and I immediately kicked myself in the face. Well, not, not literally, but that's a funny image. But I, right when I got home from my parents' house, I saw that I didn't have as much left of it as I thought I did. I thought I had almost a full jar and it was maybe a third of the way empty. And I was like, I should have bought another one, but Alas, I didn't. So this one right here is called Snowman Bath Melt. This is one of those little bath oils and it is bigger than their just their little ones. So I'm super excited because I have very dry skin and I, I, wanna, I wanna try these. I've never tried the bath melts before. This is one of the products that I was like, I really wanna try one of those bath oil bath melt thingies to see if I like it. What better time than Boxing Day sale where it'll be 50% off. Now I do wanna say that the plastic wrapping that Lush sends their stuff in is also made with a plant cellulose material. So it is very biodegradable. I know some people are confused, like Lush is what it stands for and all this recycling and everything. And then they send stuff in this plastic that's flimsy. So all good, baby, all good. They thought of everything. I love, ugh, just the more and more I learn about Lush, <laughs> it's so cool everything that they do. So, ooh my goodness. That is so refreshing. Oh, this, this video right here is why smell vision needs to exist. I'm telling you. Oh, okay. I wonder, I don't know how many things Lush repeats every year, but not using it yet, just fragrance alone. I would buy this again. <laughs> I'm like obsessed already. It's refreshing. So maybe it's a little bit of a mint, which I'm surprised about because I don't remember if mint was in the, no, it was lemon. It was like lemon citron. It's weird. I almost smell like a hint of white chocolate. 
Did they use white chocolate in this? Dang it, I should have taken a screenshot of all the products. Oh, I'm just... Okay, here's another bath melt that I got. <laughs> so cute. This is Santa's on his way bath melt. And he's... Oh, it's his way. And he's shimming down the chimney. How adorable is that? So let me take a little smell. Oh my goodness. That smells so freaking good. It's fruity and wonderful. And I am going to have a hard time trying to decide what I want to take my bath in tonight because you know, you bet your sweet bippy I'm taking a bath tonight. These are the only two bath melts I got. I don't know which one I like better. I think this one is going to be better for more like achy muscles and soothing and stuff. But this one will be better for just yumminess and just, ah, great, fantastic. I see Snow Fairy. And I'm dying to find out what it actually smells like because I don't remember. It'll be a good thing if I don't like it, I think, because maybe I want to be so sad about the naked one and having to get a smaller size, but then it's also gonna be a bummer because I, I think I got some other <laughs> some other types of styles in here with the Snow Fairy scent. I think I actually, actually did get with this one for my daughter, so uh, hopefully she likes it, we'll see. Oh, that's yummy. It's different though. I think it'll be really nice in the shower when you actually go to use it. It has this weird, cherry undertone i know it's supposed to be like cotton candy or something it's nice it has this weird in the back of my mouth taste that i'm not sure if i'm comfortable with <laughs> so i'll have to actually try it to use it but i can see the appeal do you know what i mean some people that like are obsessed with snow fairy are gonna come at me please don't come come at me this is just my experience it's just what my preference is it's yeah okay it's nice it's nice it's nice i just i gotta use it you know what i mean hey you know what my favorite's yognog and some of y'all don't like yognog so hey those, those are two very different fragrances. This one is gonna be the Snowman Dreaming Bath Bomb. I love the little pink, the little pink ones. I like the brown ones too. There's something about Lush's font and the packaging that I just feel like it's a nice balance between bougie and earthy. It's like the perfect yin yin yang. I just love it so much. They did excellent job on their marketing products. Oh, this one, this one's so cute. The little snowman. Oh, well, that's nice. It's not super strong of a fragrance. He has like a little rainbow. I believe he kind of turns rainbowy or sherberty in the bath. Little bath bomb, he's adorable. Ooh, this one is another Snow Fairy fragrance. This is the Magic Wand Bubble Bar. This one for sure is for her. However, I might borrow it one night because it's a reusable one, right? So. Look at how gorgeous, bippity boppity boo. Oh, oh see, oh I have smelled, you know what? That popsicle-y candy bar-y looking one that I think they either they sell year round or they did in the summer. I'll pop it up here on the screen. Smells very much the same. Is that a snow berry fragrance? It might be. If it's not, it is, you know what I mean? Cause you know what? My daughter was using that one and it smells so amazing in the bath. So now, okay, now, I definitely think Snow Fairy will be beautiful in the bath. It is so yummy, sweet and nice. And look at that glitter. She is gonna love this. She is gonna freak out. I'm gonna pick her up from school soon and she's gonna see her little Lush haul and she is gonna freak out because this is so cute. Oh my goodness. She's gonna feel like a little cute, adorable little fairy. <laughs> oh, yay. Okay, this is one that I had a hard time picking. This is the lip scrub in Galaxy. So again, I've never tried one of their lip scrubs before and I thought this would be a good time to try it. I was trying to decide between the Galaxy and the Sugar Plum because Disneyland makes a Sugar Plum churro that is the best churro I've ever had in my entire life. So I was kind of like, if it tastes like that or smells like that, then I'm gonna love it. But if it's too plummy, then I might not like it. Like, I don't know if I wanna commit to that. So last minute I changed to Galaxy because I've had my eye on this one since it launched. But let's take a little smell and see because some of the lip scrubs that I smelled in Lush Lush's stores are not very good. I don't know if they're old, but oh, let me, let me, let me see if I made a good choice. Oh yeah, I, baby, I did. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. That is sour, I'm like flicking everywhere. That is sour blueberry candy, which I am obsessed with. Anytime when I was a kid and we'd get to pick different like candy stuff, like suckers or things like that, you know I'd pick the blue one. That smells exactly like it. My mouth is like watering, like how it does when you think of sour things. Now yours probably is too. Think of sour candy, it's gonna do it. Oh, oh my goodness, holy moly, I am so glad. I, I probably should have gotten the sugar plum as well. That was one that I thought it might come back in stock or I might be able to pick it up at the store. So I was like, let me just wait. And I was hoping to smell this one before that, but I got my shipping a little bit late. Oh, I'm not disappointed in that at all. And it takes me forever to go through lip scrubs because I forget to use them. So I'm, I'm glad I reined it in. 
but I also kind of wish I got that one too, but oh my gosh, wow. Wow. Hey, this is fun because I have like all the packing peanuts and it's like a surprise to me as I'm like taking it in. Oh man, okay. Rudolph bath bomb. Rudolph with your nose so bright. I hope you smell so good tonight. This is adorable. Look at that. Oh no, I don't like the smell. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't like that smell at all. Oh, I'm so disappointed. This was one of my first products in my cart because I was like, that's adorable, I need it. But I don't remember if I looked at the scent description. So shame on me if I didn't. I don't know what that smell is, but I don't like it. But in my experience with some Lush bath bombs that I've picked up, they smell kind of weird until you put it in the bath and then they smell heavenly and wonderful. So we'll have to kind of see with this one, but he's cute, doesn't smell great, might work better in the bath, but we'll see. That's part of the beauty of online ordering things that you don't know how they smell. Yognog bubble bar, hello. So I've only ever bought bubble bars for my daughter. No, I did get one. I got one for Mother's Day, the little spinny thing, and I am obsessed with it. I love the bubble bars because who doesn't love a little bubble bath? I love bath bombs, but honestly, if I were to pick between a bath bomb and a bubble bar, I would pick a bubble bar because they're just, they're just so much fun. And I like that you can reuse them where bubble bar, bubble bombs, how many times can I say bubbles in one sitting a lot? It's one and done, baby, and I like being able to reuse it. So look at this. Yeah, it's so yummy. So Yognog, if you haven't smelled it before, is, is just like Christmas wrapped in a nice warm, cozy package. And it's just everything that I want to smell like and more during the holidays, if not more often than just the holidays. It's kind of like cinnamony and warm and just, Mm, it's just like a little, it's like a winter hug. So when I wash myself in the shower with it, I just feel like I'm being hugged by, by the holidays. And I just like that. I don't know how else to describe it, except it's so yummy. The funny thing that I want to share with you guys now, I have watched a couple people's unboxing of their Boxing Days haul because like I was waiting for mine for a while and I was just like, I want to see it. What it like, what's everything? And I was watching somebody that unboxed this and they were like, they couldn't get past the fact that they think it looks like garlic. And I'm like, great, now I see a giant thing of garlic too, because I didn't know what it looked like before. I was like, maybe a circus tent. I don't know, just like some random thing. And now all I see is a giant thing of garlic. So thank you, person on YouTube. Sorry, I don't remember who it was, but I see it now too. I see it. So you're not the only one now because you implanted the seed in my head. So, and now it's in yours. There you go. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, can't wait. Ah, oh, yeah. That's gonna be so moisturizing too. I feel like the oils that are in it, it's gonna be so nice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh, pop art bath bomb. I got this one for my daughter because it just seemed like so much fun. This is the little popcorn looking one. Look at how cute. Oh, it smells yummy. Am I imagining it or does it have a slightly buttery smell to it? I might be imagining it. I don't care, it smells so good. Oh my God, I should have gotten one for myself too. They put popping candy in it, like Pop Rocks, to make that little extra pop, 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 which I think is so adorable, and I think she'll have so much fun using this. Okay, this is another thing that I was excited to try, 50% off to see if I like it, and of course, it's in the Yognog smell, the little body conditioner. So, I don't know why, maybe I did get the body lotion, we'll see. So like I mentioned, I want my whole body, face, house, hair, everything that I can, to smell like Yognog, but I'm limited. They only do so many different types of products. So they do make the body conditioner in the Yognog and I'm excited to try this out. I know that this one is a little bit different. You would think it's like a lotion since it's body conditioner, but this is one that you actually put on after you wash your body in the shower when your skin is still wet. You put it on and then you shower it off. So I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm really, 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 really dry, but sometimes I'm lazy and I do not want to get out of the shower when it's cold in my bathroom and then put on lotion on you know afterwards so I want to test this out and see if it's something that will be easier for me to want to do and if it makes a difference so oh yummy this one's almost more buttery smelling than the than the shower gel that I have oh but I'm so excited I'm so excited you know what, I need to feel a little bit of it oh yeah oh I can see how that's not yeah it's definitely not like a lotion it's very unique and different and it has a little yellowness that it left on me. Okay, well you wash it off anyways, and I would definitely wash it off. I was kind of wondering like, could you use this as a lotion and leave it on? But it's yellow on my skin, so definitely not. Definitely not. Snow Fairy Bath Bomb, all right. Oh my gosh, it's like a glitter explosion. It's so pretty. Yeah, oh I do, okay, you know what? You know what? 
third product of Snow Fairy, and I and the scent is like I'm I was like 70% liking it now, and it's like 95% liking it. And that's weird, but it's just one of those fragrances to me that it's like really sweet at first, and I, but this is really nice. Oh, yay, I forgot about this. The Rudolph face mask. So this is one of the air jelly face masks, which I have the bunny, honey, honey bunny, one of them. And it's really, really nice moisturizing mask. It's helped my skin a lot in these dry months, but I really wanted to try this Rudolph one. I actually almost bought this during the holidays, but then I just didn't get around to going to a Lush store again. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just get it on Boxing Day sale if they still have it. I'm in no rush. Oh, sweet, yummy chocolate mother earth. Okay, if you know about Seas Candy, this smells like a C's candy, specifically. Not just any chocolate, okay? Like a chocolate, like a dark chocolate truffle with that nice soft center that has like that ganache filling. And oh, that smells so good that you wanna eat it, but you shouldn't, but you want to, you know? I can't wait to put that on my face. That is going on my face tonight. And I'm gonna take a little bath with one of my products and it's gonna be really hard to pick which product I wanna put in the bath to use because <sighs> There's a lot of good ones. There's a lot. That is everything. I feel like I did a good job staying within my budget, not going too crazy. Like I said, this is my first time doing the whole Lush Boxing Day haul. So next year it might be a different story, especially I might go next year into a store beforehand and do a smell test. Cause I think there's only one in here that I didn't like the smell, the Rudolph one. So that would have been nice to be able to switch out to a different one. Enough about all of that. If you are new to my channel and you've made it this far, then you probably can dig my vibe. And if you do, you might as well subscribe. I didn't mean to rhyme, but it's just what happens. So go ahead and do that and you'll get notified when I post more videos, which is at least three times a week. <laughs> Thank you again so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that every single one of you out there, every single one of you go out there and have a great freaking awesome, wonderful, beautiful, happy day. If you like baths, take a nice little relaxing bath and have some me time tonight and just chill and just do something for you, you know? You know? All right, bye. Blah, blah, blah. Just boxing. What am I saying? Volge. Did I volge? Is that the word? Why did I miss that? Let me know down in the comments below. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I better get going on that. Yeah. Yeah, I should. In case this is your first, in case there's, um, let me know. I don't know why I didn't do that. Oh yeah, but no. No, no. Blech. How do I open it? <laughs> the adds up the more you add. And my little haul of the unboxing. Oh my gosh. So Boxing Day stale. Stay, blah, blah, blah. So Boxing Day stale. Stale. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh.